Good evening and welcome to the Daily Mirror News Roundup. You're with me, Azar Zahid Karim. Let's take a look at our headlines. Sri Lanka to present cyber security bill in Parliament this year. No decision to suspend fuel pass. World Bank's IFC to provide Sri Lanka with $400 million financing. Indian naval ship in Colombo to engage in passage exercise with Sri Lankan Navy. Man remanded for sexually abusing 11 girls at children's home. Government's message clear to public. Shut up and sit down. Now, diving into our lead stories. As Sri Lanka looks to push its digitalization agenda, plans are afoot to present the Cyber Security Bill in Parliament this year. The legislation is part of the proposed in Information and Cyber Security Strategy of Sri Lanka. The next stage of the strategy will be supported by the World Bank. No decision has been taken to suspend the National Fuel Pass QR system from 10th April, Power and Energy Minister Kanchana Vijayasekara said. The International Finance Corporation, the world's bank investment arm, said it will provide Sri Lanka a $400 million cross-currency swap facility to help fund essential imports. The Indian naval ship Sukanya arrived at the port of Colombo on an official visit this morning. The visiting ship was welcomed by the Sri Lankan Navy in compliance with naval traditions. A 60-year-old man was arrested for allegedly abusing 11 girls at a children's home at Rakhwana in Ratnapura. The Ratnapura Children and Women Bureau has arrested the suspect, who is the husband of the warden of the children's home following complaints received by the Godakavela Divisional Secretariat. Condemning the use of tear gas and water cannons on National People's Power protesters yesterday, Opposition leader Sajid Premadasa said the government's message is loud and clear to the public. Shut up and sit down. For further details on these stories, visit our website www.dailymirror.lk. You're with me, Azar Zahid Karim. This was the Daily Mirror News Roundup.